Okay, we got another game. I'm playing black now. Let's see. Okay. I'll take it. It's a free pawn. I guess it's not completely free. I mean... He gains, uh, he gains a lot of time for that pawn and some center control space. But you know, it's an interesting game. Um, <coughs> I thought about moving my my knight in here, but all it does is just m force him to move his queen to a scarier position than it is now. So let's let's not let's not do that. Let's make him defend this pawn instead. That looks like it's better for me. Now, if he moves his knight here, which is sort of a natural thing to do, nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta take this way. I was gonna say, if he moves his knight here, my knight would have gone in here and really like checkmated his queen. So that would have been nice, but no cigar. Okay, let's push here, because I don't like your center and I want to attack it. Okay, developing my bishop for free and castling. So develop my bishop. I'm gonna develop my queen next if it'll let me, and then uh, try to get my rooks on good files here. Okay, he's letting me trade this pawn. I don't know, I suppose that was... Like, what, what, why did he do that? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, moving on. What was my plan? I was going to develop my queen and then move my rooks to better files. Um... Which I should consider what he can do. Um, his bishop doesn't have too much of a life. You know, I've got both of these squares covered. Um, he can go here or here. I'm not too worried about that. His knights, on the other hand, he's attacking this pawn, and he can also come like here or here. So maybe I should do something about that. I can't stop him from moving here and defend this pawn at the same time. But I can take the teeth out of this move by moving my bishop. So I think what I'm going to do is attack his knight and defend the pawn with the queen. So he's going to do something about this knight. I suppose he'll move it. Uh, he could also develop the bishop. Either way. That's what I would do. I would play, I would play bishop here. Okay, he's rerouting his knight somewhere else, um, which is funny because I think he just moved here from this point. Okay, so let's let's go here now. My rooks are connected. Um, I've heard it said that um, connecting the rooks is the last step to uh, development. So once your rooks are connected. Um, you know, all your minor pieces are off the back rank, and all of your, um, you know, your, your king is castled and your queen's off the back rank. You're completely developed. Um, no, so okay, he's attacking my bishop. Uh, just come straight back. I don't know. That allows him to come back here with his knight. But coming here, I don't want him to take it. So maybe I'll. Hmm. What do I do? Oh, I'll just come back. Why not? He moves the moves the knight here. Um, I suppose I can defend with the with the bishop. No, he doesn't come back. Okay. Let's uh let's develop my rook. One of the one of the rooks. I think this one looks logical. Okay. I definitely 
I feel like my knight could be more active. Um, so I want to try to find a home for him. Let's see. This would be a nice little hole to plant my knight. Um, how to get it there? I need this knight to move. So I guess if I threaten to move my bishop in here by moving the knight temporarily somewhere else. Yeah, that's, that's kind of slow, isn't it? Well, let's stop his knight from coming in. I don't like his knight coming in this way. Um, okay. So he's, he's attacking this pawn again. I said I would defend it with my bishop if I did that. So let's see. Now. Okay. I had to I had to defend the bishop and the pawn, so only move. Oh no, the pawn god, the pawn was covered by my knight. <sighs> anyway, the bishop is just as good on the diagonal from from this vantage point as it is from this. So he's not doing too much on this diagonal. Um Well, this knight is annoying. Get out. Okay. <sighs> Develop B pieces. Get to each your rooks on open files. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't really like this position, but I mean, I'm doing okay here. Um, let's let's put my knight over here. It looks like it looks like it's good. I might be able to pick up his the second bishop here. Hmm. He doesn't like my queen there. Uh, does he really want to take the knight? Maybe he really loves knights. Uh, there could be some back rank issues. Like, if he takes my knight, I take here. This rook's undefended. Sort of a discovery here on on the on the knight, but I think I just take and then defend my back rank, and I should be fine. Okay, so now here. So he's threatening like a fork. Instead, I think what I'll do is just move my knight. So now that this this rook's no longer, like. Overworked, you know, he's not having to defend the knight and the rook here. But, yeah, I don't know. In any case, I could have just stepped my bishop back, so. <laughs> I don't know what this move was about, really. This knight did leave this square here undefended. Um, a little bit less. I mean, if he was able to double up his rooks, he could come in. Or maybe he wants to move a piece. He could move a piece here, but. Okay, that move just stopped his bishop from retreating. Um, so, like, he can't go here because of my knight. I think I'll... Should I go this way or this way? Yeah. Hmm. I think I want a pawn here. Watch. If, th if this file comes open, I don't want his rook to come all the way down. Watch your time. So, I suppose there's a point here. But... Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, so he's getting a piece for a piece, but, you know, his king's safety is, is in question here. I'm attacking this pawn now. I can move my queen here and, and double attack. You know, I've got on. It's not really a double attack. Watch yeah, your time. It is now on the pawn and this knight here. I suppose I would move my... Okay. Watch your time. That doesn't work. Ah, I should have moved. I should have moved this way with my rook. Hmm. Well, right now I'm threatening rook takes c1. His queen is overworked defending the, both the rook and here. Well, now he can take back with the rook knight. Okay. So now I think I can, go I, can, I can do this way. Knight takes rook check. He'll step back with the rook. Oh, well he's got that, doesn't he? Okay. Well, 
Oh, my bishop's got the same game, for sure. Um, okay, free knight. Thank you. Played this move. Um, I mean, I should have just taken his pawn, honestly. Sometimes I think less about taking material. I don't know. I mean, I could take it next move now that I played this one. Uh, mostly, I didn't want him to be able to move his pawn forward. Kind of like that the bishop is kicking his king out of the square. Okay, yeah, he's resigned. There's really nothing for him to play for here. He can't create a pass pawn anywhere. Uh, his king can defend this pawn, but my king is going to. It's gonna come in eventually. Um, once he loses this pawn, both of these, both of these guys can queen. Uh, and there's no way he can defend both sides. Okay. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we'll see you next time.